Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different for the channel. I'm going to be doing a game showcase on a game called Capital Command. Uh, it is part of the Steam Next Fest that they're doing right now, where developers and uh, publishers get a chance to show off some of their upcoming games. Uh, this game, like I said, Capital Command, is developed by Hellrider Games and published by Hooded Horse. Hooded Horse has quite a few games under their belt. They've got Terra Invicta, Alliance of the Sacred Sons, Old World, um, Nebulous Fleet Command, which from what I've heard is very similar to this game in the way it takes uh, physics into account in terms of your spaceship's movement. Uh, this is a uh, space-based combat tactical game. I'm sure there's going to be some strategy elements of it um, once the full game is released. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a demo. Uh, this is nowhere near the finished product, so expect a lot more from this game. It's it's pretty cool. I've played through it a couple times and um, had various degrees of success and also died, but I'm good at dying in games, so... The release date for this game is still to be announced, so hopefully that will come uh, very soon. Um, it's been on my wish list for a while, as uh, have all the games that I'm going to be showcasing. I'm going to be doing a couple of them. I'm going to be doing um, Manor Lords, uh, Galactic Merchant, and there's a few others, but um, I don't remember what they are right now. Uh, this game, like I said, is a space combat game. You are in command of a single ship. In this case, for the demo, it's going to be, uh, I think it's a Corvette. And the amount of control you have of this ship is, is crazy. Um, you can name your ship, but we're, we're just going to leave it KS-523 for now. Uh, like I said, it keeps uh, physics in mind, so if you yaw your ship to port it doesn't just stop when you let go of the controls uh you have to yaw it to starboard to get it to stop um firing points are uh determined through those physics as well so let's uh let's set out in ks 523 and see what we can do scout corvette ks 523 returning to fleet central from extended deployment as assigned as a light escort for battlecruiser bc-42 Arrival station coordinates locked, initiating jump. Now, from what I understand, Battlecruiser BC-42 is uh, the ship that you are going to get in the main game. But right now, we are in uh, Scout Corvette, KS-523. Welcome to Farpoint. And here we are, down here. Uh, now, the problem... I wouldn't really say it's a problem or anything, but this uh, green box keeps popping up with the uh, info for the game um, it is really small I'm not even sure you're gonna be able to see it uh, on YouTube unless you have a playing this on a huge TV but it's there for you to read if you would like to um, up here we have our missions we have locations Farpoint station uh, lists the distance uh, we've got wreckage and up here is a communication box. This is damage control down here. Uh, this is the radar. It's also going to be um, our kind of autopilot control center. Uh, but we have to get through this one little mission before we can uh, take control of our ship and fly through space. So our mission is to salvage the wreckage. Uh, copy that, KS-523. Proceed to salvage usable resources from wreckage and plant demolition charges. Be advised weapons lock and manual flight lock are still in effect. Use automatic navigation only rendezvous with wreckage now. Okay, so we have our autopilot options here. Attack course wreckage, evade, uh, match velocity, bring ship to a full stop. Uh, and this is a warp jump. Uh, rendezvous with records is what we're going to pick. So you can see our directional thrusters firing. Uh, we do have a main engine back here. Now that 
that's firing. We've got reverse thrusters. Uh, right now we're rendezvousing with the ship, coming in on it. Uh, what our ship's going to do is fly up to it within a certain range, flip around, because I guess that's what they do when they rendezvous. They kind of flip around like they're going to dock or something. And up here you can see the progress salvaging 22%. This is also where if you're in combat, which we'll see in a little bit, um, it lists the damage to the enemy ships, what you're shooting at. So we're coming in contact with the uh, with the wreckage here. We sort of burn to slower uh, velocity. We're at 92, 3, 4, 5, 6, and salvage is complete. So now we have to demolish the ship. Set off demolition charges to neutralize hazardous wreckage now. So demolish the ship. There it goes. Incoming jump detected. Please stand by. All right, BC-42 actual to KS-523 actual. Home at last, eh, Commander? Although I don't recall so much wreckage floating around. Go ahead and clear a path to the station for us. On my authority, you are cleared for weapons use and manual nav. Go have some fun. All right, now this over here lists all the stuff you can do with your ship. Uh, pitch roll, yaw, uh, thrust port, thrust up, thrust down, thrust starboard, and retro thrust, which is uh, reverse. They're also all hotkeyed out, so we are going to find our first target, which is this wreckage. We have to clear it for BC-42, which is uh, this ship right here. This is going to be our ship eventually. Let's get over to the uh, let's get over to the wreckage. We'll select our target from down here. We've got point defense weapons, kinetic weapons. All right. Now you see it, it does take a little bit of time for the. So now we're firing. No solution. There we go. Now we're firing on the wreckage. The wreckage is destroyed. I think our weapons range is like 10,000, so let's get to the next closest one, which is this right here. So let's select that, fire on it. There we go, that wreckage is out of the way. Uh, next closest one is 16,000. We don't want to target Farpoint Station, that's us. Right there, wreckage locked. Which is right over here. Select our station. Let's head to the wreckage. And we are ripping away with our uh, kinetic weapons. Now we have to reload. See down at the bottom of the screen, it gives a reload time. So let's target this wreckage here. Once the uh, reload is done, I guess the, the red line is its uh, trajectory. We've got three seconds till the forward batteries. There we go. Now we can fire on him. Now the one thing I've learned through my uh, first couple playthroughs is uh, you have to be very, very, very deliberate with your movement. Uh, it's easy to send your ship into a wild spin. So let's target this wreckage here. It's at 19,000 yards out, or miles. We're firing on it automatically, I guess. And... There it goes. Harpoon station to all ships. Priority message follows. Secret data package just received from Fleet Corps for all non-AI ships at Central. KS-523 approach station within 10 kilometers for a secure download. All right, so we have to approach Farpoint, which is here, uh, 10 kilometers, which is quite a ways away. So we're going to actually 
go to manual. I guess we can't. So we have to go there ourselves. Um, I'm going to pause the recording here, get up close to uh, Farpoint. Uh, just so you're not sitting there watching me fly at the station. Uh, hopefully we don't crash into it. I've actually done that before. I was trying to get to uh, get to my battle cruiser and actually crashed into crashed into the battle cruiser, which didn't help me in the battle. Let's go. Do do uh, battle. I mean, twenty six thousand out. This shouldn't take too long. I'm curious why it won't, uh, it won't let me. Is that cruise vector? I wonder what that does. I don't think that's what I wanted to do. So we'll turn that off. And then we'll turn back on. Once you get the hang of these controls, you can imagine this is going to be a lot of fun. Alright, let's come to a stop. Which is, we can bring the ship to a stop. Download in progress. Package 10 kilometers should do. You're cleared for a tactical jump. Either aim it manually or use the autopilot, but get over here. Okay. Where is he? BC 42, 78,000. That's crazy. Alright, so we got to bring our ship to a stop before we can do any type of jumps. I think we just did. It says, cannot jump while local speed is over 10 meters a second. I haven't found anything on any of this UI that says what our speed is. So and then auto jump to BC 42. go jumping in nine seconds. Where's BC 42? There it is down there. And away we go. Alright, here's BC 42. Hopefully we are not moving. And uh, download is in progress. Now we have, uh, see over here, we have 15 minutes until our jump drive is uh, back online. So we can't jump again for another 15 minutes. I can't wait to see what this full game is all about. PC-42 to KS-523, something in that data package just overloaded all of our weapons. Looks like you're no better off yourself. Get your repair parties busy. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you see BC-42 is pretty messed up, and so are we. See, we're smoking, and up here is the damage control parties. And they are working on the uh, forward batteries. seconds until repairs are made. Alright. Farpoint Station to all friendly ships. Be advised on scheduled incoming jump signatures detected. Also, frankly, we don't know what this means, but we've just lost contact with Central Fleet. PC-42 to identified ships. State your readiness or your identity and purpose immediately. K 
S523. They're all they're AI driven friendlies from Home Fleet, but they get our weapons back online. Uh, so engage unknown enemy ships and keep them off our back until we get our weapons back online. All right, so we have to engage the hostile ships. Uh, where are they? There's one of them down there. All right, so let's uh, pick a target. He is firing on our battle cruiser, so we want to let him have it. Now you can zoom in and target specific spots on the ship. Uh, it does list up here the damage, fire in central section, artillery, magazine disabled. Now we do have a reload time, so we're going to want to kind of keep track of this guy because he's moving in on uh, moving in on our battle cruiser pretty quick. seconds for a reload. Uh, fire in central section. Targeting system disabled. Engine out of action. That'll be kind of handy. We got another one coming in down here. So let's uh, keep this guy. Let's keep this guy in our crosshairs. This guy is 7,000. Let's switch our target to him. He's pretty close. Use that uh, that firing. There we go. Looking into him. They do kind of. There we go. We hit them pretty good that time. It does seem like they try and run away and draw you away from the. Uh... Reload, reload. is taking it pretty hard here. You can see our battle crews are launching uh there, it looks like he just he just exploded. Alright. Let's find him. KS-175 wreck. KS Alright, where are you? KS-179, 20... Right. Now we can set a attack course for KS-129. Whoops. Alright. It says, well done, kid. It looks like the sim time paid off, and now it looks like those Corvettes called in a whole squadron. Um, let's bring the ship to a stop. Let's find uh, BS-142. They are 28,000 yards out, so let's... Uh, let's rendezvous with them. Let's get over there. We do have new... T uh, we got racks, so... Not really too worried about that. We do have more enemies to get found. Okay, so we got... 
got a K at 2KS and the one BC is a battle cruiser, 19,000 yards out. So let's, uh, where are they? These are just wrecks. You see the missiles flying in. Oh, it looks like they're behind us. What do we have here? Uh, that's the battle cruiser. This is 444, 23,000. Then 17,000. Now you can target their. You see, we're targeting their. Uh, their missiles. Our battle cruiser is firing back as well. Point defense. Let's go to point defense. I think I just disabled that. first target over here. I don't know if they, it automatically fires at... They're kind of holding off, so... I guess we can fire from way out here. See if we cause any damage. Yep, we are causing damage. S-443, that is not going to be our primary target. Here's the battle cruiser. Uh, battle cruiser is 26,000 out. There's our missiles heading in. They shot them down with their point defense, but it looks like a few of them got in. All right, let's uh, shoot down the incoming. Oh, we're reloading still. I think uh, if you hover over it, it might... Um, oh shit, there's our own ship right there. like they're out, they're uh, spinning out of control here. It says critical hull damage targeting systems disabled. Now we do have another target out here. Let's see if we can get him. right here, KS-444, 14,000 yards out. We are getting kind of far away from our uh, our battle cruiser here. Alright, let's uh, target this guy. I think he's out of range. Spinning out of control. We should probably focus on the uh, on the other one. There he goes. He's dead. All right. Next target is wow. Oh, KS 444, 21,000 yards out. Let's uh, go back to rendezvous with our battle cruiser. Just get a little closer. Uh, we did manage to. 17,000 yards out, or miles, whatever it is there. Who's this over here? KS-444. We want to, uh... Actually, what I want to do is... Like spinning in a circle here. What's happening? Alright, 
So let's uh, do this automatically because I'm not doing too good at the uh, manual thing here. Uh, KS444. That course is KS444. They are 18,000 yards out. BC, uh oh. BC42 has critical hull damage. There they are right there. Are inbound for our battle cruiser. Our battle cruiser's in a lot of trouble there. What is this? Oh, we're taking damage. Let's get our stern thrusters disabled. Now we're firing on the uh, enemy ship as they're moving into. Uh, hopefully, we don't accidentally hit our own ship. They're they're moving in pretty close. All right, we got our stern thrusters are disabled here. Off. Now they're on the other side of our, our battle cruiser. They are firing missiles at the uh, enemy battle cruiser out there. I don't want to crash into them again. Gas 444. Oh, battery. Why aren't you firing? What is this? I think that's a wreck. KS-444. That's who I want to shoot at. There we go. Now we're shooting at him. Let's see if he flies right into him. Yep, we're hitting him pretty good. He's going to pass beneath us. So we got to do something about that. Let's see if we can intercept him. Sixteen thousand out. I'm not really sure. Wow. All right. I can't tell if he's leaving or. and intercept him on his course. I think this is what indicates a course out here. Oh, he's up above us. So we gotta raise up. See what I mean about it? You can get pretty far out from your uh, from your own battleship. And this guy is pulling away from us, so we may have to actually do a jump to the battle cruiser. I don't really want to. jump to the to 
our battle cruiser. May have to though. Let's bring the ship to a full stop. Seconds. Okay. All right, there we are. There's BC forty two. Let's pick a target. Where are you? Three thousand, eleven thousand. Target out of range. Yeah, let's bring it back into range. Is he good luck again? I don't even know where our own battle cruiser is. Oh, there he is down there. I thought I jumped right. Oh, that's far point station. Or attack. It looks like he may be coming back, but we are shooting. That's our battle cruiser down there. That's BC forty two. Says he's got critical hull damage, but he seems to be doing fairly well for having critical hull damage. Stern thrusters disabled, fire in bow section, critical hull damage. Alright, now we need to uh, get this reload taken care of as quick as possible. Alright, we're firing. Three seconds for another reload. Let's get a little closer. Four seconds on that reload. There we go. We got our point defense firing on him. Got him. He's done. Alright, so now the only thing that we have to take on is BC-11, which is 22,000 yards out. Uh, where would you be? BC-11. Down here. Alright, let's go get him. Now we're a little out of our league here, because this is a battle cruiser after all. earn our pay like it says up top. Looks like he's running. We somehow managed to get 34,000 away from uh, it's a, uh, rendezvous with him. Does enemy does have missiles outbound? We have missiles inbound. There you see his missiles. We could probably shoot them down if we were within range. Uh, some of them got through. Some of them didn't. All right, let's try and close the distance down here. Set an attack course. BC 11. Ten, ten 
in this and we can jump, so we could probably jump right over here. We're not really making any uh, headway here. Just moving in. Right, take manual control. shot down. Uh, BC-11 has stern thrusters. BC-42, our own ship, has critical hull damage. Nine minutes until we jump. Right there, our missiles are on their way to the enemy. Let's see if any of them get through. Nope. Alright, so I'm going to pause the uh, recording here uh, for the time being. Once, if we can get into a uh, range of them, we can uh, attack them, and I will be back when we uh, get within range. Okay, so for better or worse, we are ready to jump. Um, we bring the ship to a full stop. I wonder what, if I deactivate point defense, if kinetic ammo would be uh, more powerful. So let's uh, set to BC-11. jump to BC-11 and see what we can do here. Getting set up and ready to jump, I'm assuming. Okay. Ten seconds. Here's BC-11. That's our enemy right here. Here we are. Target. We're facing the wrong way. Here we are. Target BC-11. There's uh, different parts of it you can 
I guess we're gonna attack him automatically. Target it as weapons. Just target it as weapons. Light impact. It's gonna take forever. As the valiant little Corvette attacks the battle cruiser while careening wildly through space. Says obstructed. So we gotta get our uh, vectors a little better here. There we go. See what kind of damage we can do on his bow. Target his engine if it would do any any good. Oh, secondary out of action. I'd like to think we had something to do with that. Light impact. So I just do this put this point defense back on. jump again in 10 minutes. Looks like he's stationary. Not anymore. seems to be uh, holding its own there. Well, it shot down the... Uh We 
can target the uh, target the missiles. Or if they ever run out of ammo. It says light impact. Uh, we're getting kind of close here. Right. Ten doors. Five thousand yards out. Okay, come to a stop. Quickly come to a stop before you hit him. Now they have critical hull damage, good. They're not shooting at me. Not that I'm complaining or anything.
disabled, so I think we are actually causing a lot of damage to them. Cruiser would uh oh look just hit him pretty good heavy impact light Im impact gonna do much damage but I think we may be out of kinetic ammo We got him, we got him. Brilliant victory, you have prevailed against all odds. We got him. No shit. Unfortunately, BC-42 Actual was severely wounded during the battle. You must take command. Both BC-42 and Farpoint Station will be valuable assets. Your mission follows. You are ordered to prosecute guerrilla campaign against rogue AI fleet. Your primary objective, assault Fleet AI Central Core and terminate with extreme prejudice. Logistics support unavailable. Resource salvage is advised. So I guess uh, when you attack ships and you damage them or destroy them, you could salvage them and uh, get their supplies. That's a cool option. Uh, shipyard support unavailable. Independent field repairs and upgrade is advised. Reinforcements unavailable. Hostile ships, subversion, and recommission is advised. 
last known AI fleet unit, TO and E in positions uploaded, fleet engineering and upgrade schematics uploaded, full signal silence now in effect, report on mission completion. Good luck. The prologue is over, the fight has just begun. Oh, that's sweet. Play the full campaign and shut down core fleet AI. Release date 2023, there we go. All right, so that is Capital Command. Um, I'm really curious to think, uh, hear what you guys thought about it. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Um, this could possibly be something I could make a series out of. I definitely had fun time doing it. Um, downfalls of this is if you get too far away, it kind of takes forever to get anywhere. Um, so possibly when we get that battle cruiser, speed and distance won't be such an issue. Um, and then mostly it's just learning the controls because I think once you uh, can fly that ship like an F-14 then things should be pretty damn good. Um, if you'd like to see a series on this when it comes out let me know. Uh, if you like this game in the uh, video here hit the like button. Uh, if you want to follow along through the rest of the uh, showcase videos I'm going to be doing like I said uh, Manor Lords uh, I think Forever Skies is one of them. Um, Galactic Merchant's another one. Uh, if you want to follow along through that and the possible series they may uh, spawn, hit the subscribe. And we will see you for uh, our next showcase game. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.